Guys and gals of the YouTube universe, welcome back to a... I'm sitting on my wire. I'm gonna make an invention where that doesn't happen anymore. Welcome back to another video. My name is the one, the only, Thick Boy Rounded Sign My T-Shirt Tack. And today, we're gonna be checking out the mic drop. Here's the thing. Sorry, again, about the audio on the previous videos. I should be getting my new audio equipment tomorrow, and I'm going to record a very special video for you guys. I'll give you a sneak peek at what it is. There you go. It's coming. It's on its way. We're going to figure out once and for all which is the best, or at least try to. But today, we're checking out the mic drop. The mic drop is the last weapon that we know of at least that I know of in the boombox set. It's a club. I don't have anything to compare it to because it's a club. And who the hell uses clubs? But we're still gonna take a look at it and see if it's worthwhile. You can throw any melee weapon on Luna and it's fantastic. This is the only one I have. This is not mine. This was given to me. I did not, I did not perk mine up. But the few times I have used it, I'll tell you right now, it's not bad. It's not bad by any means. So we're gonna take a look exactly how good it actually may be. Remember, it does have the dance effect on it. It is not made for Paleo Luna, as you can tell by the rolls, double crit rating, double crit damage. But we're gonna run, put it through its paces, and we're gonna see exactly, is it usable? There's only two characters you would really use this on, so we're gonna try both of them out. Same thing, live reactions. Let's jump into this video. The first build, again, is going to be Paleo Luna. Um, don't really need to bring any club damage. Subwafers, Battle Beat, all this stuff provides enough bonus damage. I, if I bring the club specialty, it's 17%. I would rather have access to 50% more often, so I'm going to bring two Rock and Riff ones, a healing perk, etc. The other build will look something like this. This would be the other build. Uh, Privateer Hype, the only actual club damage hero, so we'll be doing 50% extra damage. We're going to bring Totally Rockin' out. We're going to opt out for Blast for the Past because that's for Luna anyway, so we're going to test both of these. Bringing down the house for the heavy attack because the heavy attack on the club is actually really, really good. Uh, Saurian Claws for the extra damage. Corrosive Strikes because dancing snared enemies are better than dancing unsnared enemies. Uh, Battle Beat and Survival is for some survivability. We're bringing Slowfield and Adrenaline Rush. I'm not sure what missions are available right now, so we're going to jump in and find out. So one thing about testing weapons is that these modifiers sometimes are terrible. Uh, this smoke screen is an absolute killer wherever it's at. Uh, I don't know why it's not showing up. The smoke screen, this thing right here, is an absolute killer for testing weapons. Uh, the enemies stack up a lot. You get the smoke screen, you get a quarter of your damage, and it's really hard to tell. So bear with me. I'm probably going to do something like this. It's just max level, uh, maybe up the difficulty, and just play with this so we don't have to deal with any modifiers we could take a look at a mini boss and the damage on him um he'll probably be shielded and tank and ricochet and acid pools that's that's probably what we're gonna get so here we are in the mission uh we are going to be playing with i guess we're gonna do the mic drop a guardian's will for mobility because we are a constructor trying to play a DPS role and maybe we'll just play around with the new pistol provide some CC for us um, we are we have got one person in here on is on his way so please bear with the uh, lower damage numbers we are in a 140 mission as I just said and this is a physical club with a very cool heavy attack um, as you can see it goes about two tiles. I don't know exactly how I'm going to be able to show this. Let's see if I can get this some way. Oh my god. Things hurt. So there you go. That's how that's how far it goes. Let's see if we can reach these guys. Cannot reach those guys. Getting What? Game? Please? All right. I'm about to die. Uh, I am out of heavy attack, but 
the dance effect alone is going to allow you to at least be in the fray a little bit more than you would with a regular kind of loadout. Um, this is a medium encampment. We should be able to handle this. Let's see what we can do here. God, it's so slow. It's got pretty good knockback. Man, that's fun. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's that's kind of fun. Hey, we actually we actually handled an encampment by ourselves. Uh, the damage is only gonna get better when we get more people in here. It is rolled physical. Ooh, yeah. All right, all right. The only issue with the build or with the weapon itself is the fact that it's a club and currently we just don't have enough club heroes in the game to to be able to use them efficiently or there's there's better weapons if you're going to use paleo luna you're going to use attack speed uh there's no real reason to use privateer hype when you can use any other constructor in the game and do similar damage the fact that they have very very low mobility and privateer hype doesn't even have bull rush as an escape kind of puts you in a weird position where you're a semi dps kind of constructor but you have a base and wow that just saved my butt that's how that's how that's why dancing is so effective as you just saw he, just, he wasn't able to throw a propane at my brand new building which happens all the time i'm sure you guys deal with that as well um with the perk up with uh totally rocking out and rock and riff activated we seem to be hitting pretty hard here and uh with battle beat and heavy attack eliminations both on it's it's it's, it's not bad just the 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 issue is why would you play this over other characters the only benefit here is that you actually actually have a base which is nice having a base is 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 never a bad thing so that's one of the major benefits the weapon itself again very cool but the other ones do it better sadly that was some good damage 347 374 thousand that was pretty nuts. That was that was a lot of damage. Uh, one cool thing with Privateer Hype is you can drop your decoy. And let's see if this one-shots everything. Please do it. Please. Absolutely not even close. Well, that was a good little show of the range on it. That's about two tiles. Have uh, three people in here. I was clearing out some of the terrain for the mission. Uh, I just spotted a smasher. So we're going to see exactly how well we can do here. Uh, there are two smashers in here. Uh, um, I'm not going to have totally rock and riff or rock and totally what rock and riff activated uh, During this because I didn't bring wafers. I brought heavy attack efficiency instead, but we're gonna see how well we can do here I am buffed up with a spear though. Can we crowd control these enemies enough and maybe get an elimination here? The the dance is nice. Oof, oof that damage holy moly I can't heavy attack because I'm out of heavy attack efficiency. Um, trying to do some damage here. The impact is really, really strong. It even knock back, knocks back smashers, it seems. I'm going to drop my taunt. I'm just trying to survive here. This is, this is kind of crazy. All right. I, I just got buffed up again. Uh, we're going to get a charge here. I'm going to die. Oh. Can't hit me. All right. We just lost our slow field. Oof. We got another one, thanks to Anski and my homeboy. He's buffing us up with the spear. Not doing any extra damage, or maybe that's just capped at the moment. Oh my god! What's up? That heavy attack is fun. So when I do these missions, I try to trap lightly. Uh, I want stuff to come through. I don't want everything to come through, but I want some stuff to come through. Uh, if we could just over trap and kill everything, then it's kind of pointless. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do any damage anyway. Again, here we go with the taunt. Maybe if you really like this kind of play style and loadout. I mean, that's not bad. Uh, it creates a lot of crowd control. 
so far. One thing I am going to test, which I just thought of, uh, about halfway through the mission, we're gonna give it. We're gonna give the mic drop to a defender. We're at level 156, so this ain't no baby boy content. Uh, we're gonna give the mic drop to a defender. I have a feeling it might be one of the best weapons you can give to the defender. While playing around with this, I realized how high the impact actually is. Uh, let's just take a look at what the impact on this weapon is. 3,381. Uh, that's higher than the hammers. So, uh, as you can see, the impact is through the roof, and it might allow for some crazy interactions with uh, a defender. Because that's really what you're looking for with a defender, is high impact stuff. You want them off your base. You want to put, uh, well, melee defenders. You want them near your base to, to get the enemies off. Um, we have a lot of traps and stuff set up. We should constantly have Rock and Riff activated. Um, so we should have a good estimation of how well this build actually does. This weapon, actually, might be pretty good on... Uh, Kuros' Strike Zero. Because it hits so hard, it does 87% damage. But you can see right here, if you don't crit, if your perk is not activated, it's very, very lackluster. Should have a good idea of how well this works. Let's switch to a defender. And let's see how well she does with the weapon. Tell me the storm just rotated. I'm gonna cry. This is what I hate about melee defenders. Right here. Her range won't let her attack him. Oh my god, Val, what are you doing with your life? Val! Alright, here you go. Ready? Here it is. That was the moment, guys. I'm, I hope you enjoyed it. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next... <laughs> Oh, Lord. Face. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We need Val. That's what we need. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Where's Val? Where is she? Get him, Val. Get him, Val. What did oh, my God. Hit him. What are you doing? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's funny. Uh, I swear. When, uh... Val was already, when when Val was original, when she was uh, released, she was a lot better. I don't know what happened to her. Go get him, Val. It's like she's scared. It's almost like she's scared. So, that's it, guys. That's the mic drop. I'm not going to do Paleo Luna. You guys know how she works. You know she's one of the best melee characters in the game. In fact, she's one of the best characters in the game. You guys know exactly how this would play in her hands. You would hit very hard. It has high base damage. It swings slow. Rock and Riff is really good. Totally rocking out is good. I mean, the build wasn't bad. We did damage at level 157. We definitely killed things. It provides a lot of CC, and it, it has a unique ranged attack on its heavy attack, which is also a lot of fun to use, too, because it feels like you're golfing. It's definitely a pass, though. It's a hard pass because just clubs aren't useful yet. There's no reason to use this weapon over the spear, over a pistol, over the spectral blade. You'll get much higher damage. Uh, you can always keep a crowd control weapon on you now, uh, like the woofer, which that video got demonetized for some reason. There's just better weapons in the game. It's not a bad one, but you can definitely save your perk up on this. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Rounded Tic Tac. If you guys like this kind of breakdown video guide stuff, think about subscribing if you're new. Hopefully Season 11 has some cool stuff in store. If you guys like streams, I stream five days a week over at twitch.tv slash rounded tic tac. Hopefully you can stop by, become part of the pack part of the family we would love to have you there and lastly if you're spending any kind of money on battle royale save the world or epic game store you can always use creator code oo tic tac oo and that really helps me keep this channel alive thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next one this video saturday tic tac out